wanna take a ride? All right, guys, Dusty Dag Speed. We're gonna go through a quick tutorial on um, programming in and connecting your ESL emulator, the Dag Speed. Um, we have this little guy right here. Um, very small and compact, can actually fit inside the EIS housing itself. Um, we, so you can see we have three connections. We have our power, our K-line, and our ground. Um, those are soldered to the board. And then the other side of this thing, we have the wires inserted just for programming. You can set them up however you want. These ends have been tinned so that they're a little more rigid and we have them inserted into our bench test harness. Um, this can also be done inside the car. Always make sure that you're referencing the, the diagram for connection, not the color of the wires, just to verify that you're not going to smoke something. Okay. Always tell people to refer to the Diag Speed Bible, which is the manual. Let's go ahead and open that up. So we have our connection for the ESL. We're looking at the actual factory ESL, pins one, two, and three. Those are the ones I recommend connecting to, pin one for ground, pin two for power, and pin three for K-line, um, so that we can get this thing programmed in. Okay, so just like the other black box emulators, when you insert the key, we see three flashes. The other ones would make a noise. These ones just flash at you. One when you remove it. Three when you insert it. Okay, it's not programmed. So at this point, we are already assuming that you have done a password search of the key and have your password. And then we're gonna do the most current read of the EIS. Um, let's first go ahead and load I have an older file with a password in it. So there's my password. There's, here's a read, but it's not current. Remember, if it's not current, when you go load it and program it to your ESL, it might not uh, respond because the current hash does not match up. It might take a few minutes for it to do that. A lot of guys assume that something went wrong in the process. So, got a current read. We got a password in there. We're gonna go go ahead and save it. Let me just save it over my existing file. Yes, I'm gonna replace it. Okay. So on these emulators, you're gonna open up ESL W204 emulator. I'm gonna go ahead and hit read here at the top. Okay. If this is a completely version one, there might be some data there. Either way, when you get it, you're gonna want to. Go ahead, go ahead and hit reset. And you saw the light flash there for a moment. And go ahead and read it and verify that you have a current FFF status or erase status showing up in the top. Okay, now that it's erased, we're gonna go over to ESL tools just like we would on a regular uh, emulator or steering lock. It's a ESL with NEC type, and this is for W204-212, okay? You must have this selected before you load your file because we're basically telling the tool that we are loading an EIS file and we need to reformat it so that we can write it to our ESL. So once it's in there, it'll go ahead and go on the server, calculate and rewrite the file in a format that we can use. And then you're gonna hit personalize ESL. See a light flashing as it's programming in. You might see an error there, but it's okay. It's still wrote correctly. Okay. So now we can close this screen out. You cannot read it in ESL tools, so don't try. If it's erroring, that's because it's not supposed to read there. Okay, so we read it here. We got that data written to it. And to verify that it's working, I'm gonna go ahead and stick in our key and watch the blinks. One blink, one blink, one blink, one blink. Okay, program successfully. So at this point, um, you could then uh, connect this to the car, however you like. If you want to put it inside the EIS, I will be showing you guys a diagram of solder points inside and the best way to put it so that you're not going to have any issues later on. Uh, 
hope this helps. Any questions, uh, type them in the comment box below, as well as uh, check us out uh, for all those diet speed users currently. Um, we have a Facebook page, uh, very useful. Everybody is a, a you know, very tight knit community where we help each other out. So it's called Diet Speed Current Users. Um, go ahead and submit your ID and your email and we'll try to add you to the list and so that we can all help each other make some money. All right guys, hope this helps. Take care.